Good morning, lovely people, and welcome to Shining Light Yoga, um, either YouTube channel or our online library of videos. So my name is Jen, and I'll be guiding you through your practice today. I welcome you back to the mat. I welcome you back into your body, your breath, and into a space of observation inviting ourselves to be a witness. So you might like to begin by starting in a comfortable seat and closing down your eyes, inviting the internal landscape of your body and the sensation of your breath and even the thoughts of your mind to become a little more clear with less external distractions. Just observing yourself exactly how you feel this morning. This class has been designed as an early morning practice, so we'll take it a little bit slow. I invite you to be with yourself in the sensation that you're experiencing. And to continue to observe your breath. You might like to take a deep breath in through the nose and out through your mouth. Maybe bringing your left hand to your heart and your right hand to the back of your left hand. And this might bring a sense of a feeling of love or warmth a little more into the internal landscape of the body. A deeper connection to self. Without judgment, just observing how you feel this morning. And this day, this time, exactly as you are. I like to bring my hands into prayer and bring them to my third eye, the space between my eyebrows as a sense of respect for the practice, for you, for me. You can join me if you like. When you're ready, letting go. I'm going to invite you into a comfortable seat. So whatever that might look like. You might stay cross-legged. You might come onto your shins like I am. Starting to roll through the wrists. I'm just going to work into our wrists a little bit to begin with. Pressing the palms together. And then when you're ready, flip the hands over and press the backs of the hands together. Elbows heavy. And then rolling through the wrists, forward and back. Again, there's no particular shape here. There's no deep intention other than range of motion. Seeing how we can feel through our wrists when we turn them in all big circles all the way around. We're going to start to flick our hands. Now I'd like you to flick your hands in all different ways. So flick them up, flick them down, flick them out to the sides, flick your fingers. Just changing the way that you flick your hands, maybe noticing how that might feel slightly different at different ways. In your own time, coming onto all fours, onto hands and knees, we're going to turn the fingertips so they're pointing out to the sides and then shift our weight from left to right over the wrists. Just moving from side to side to a point that feels comfortable for you. Maybe turn, starting to flip the hands so the fingertips are pointing towards the knees. And this time shifting the weight forward and back. And you can move through your wrists however you feel comfortable. Take the weight as far back so you come onto the pads of the fingers if that's comfortable for your wrists. If not, just move a little bit. Maybe keep the hands flat. Maybe just slightly lift the wrists. Up to you. When you're ready, we'll flip the hands back over to a neutral position with the fingers pointing forwards. And then flip them over onto the backs of the hands so the fingertips are pointing to the knees. And then coming back into our neutral position and moving through cat-cow. So as we exhale, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone. And the inhale, lift the sits bones, lift the heart. And the exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the chin in. 
Inhale to lift the heart. Continue this if you like, or on your exhale, hover your knees off the floor. Inhale, lower the knees, soften the belly, lift the heart. Again, exhaling chin to chest. Maybe the knees hover as you push the floor away. Lower the knees, soften the belly, inhale, lift the heart. Again, exhale, maybe hover the knees, maybe pause, take a breath. And then lowering the knees, coming into a neutral spine, taking the left arm to the ceiling on your inhale. So you exhale, thread it behind your right wrist, hover off the floor, inhale, come back. Exhale, thread and hover. Inhale, lift left arm back up. Exhale all the way through this time, bring the shoulder to the floor, the ear to the mat. Maybe the right arm goes to the top of the mat, maybe it comes into a half bind behind you. Your hand might rest in your lower back. Maybe here you close down the eyes. Come back to that sensation of your breath early in the morning, maybe. Feeling the breath breathing around the heart space and into the rib cage. Bring the right hand down to the floor and as we inhale, sweep the left arm forward. On the exhale, take the right leg back, pause for stability. Hug the ribs and then exhale, squeeze. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, squeeze. Twice more, deep breath. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, get nice and long. We're gonna bring the left hand down to the mat. Bring the right hand, kickstand, right foot, excuse me, kickstand behind you. Open up to the right side. Maybe take a bend into the top leg. Reach back with the right hand to take hold of the right foot. Bring the right hand down to the mat. Bring the left knee, right knee down to the mat. Lift the left knee as we shift the weight forward and back. Working through the calf muscle to the shoulders, the lower belly. Dropping the knees to all fours and again, cat cow, exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the heart. You choose whether you want to hover your knees on your exhale or whether you want to keep them down to the mat. Just moving through the spine with the breath. Smooth and steady. Beautiful. When you're ready, coming into your neutral spine, taking your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread and hover off the floor. Inhale, lift, thread and hover. And one more time, inhale, lift up. Exhale, thread all the way through this time. Shoulder to the floor, ear to the mat. Maybe the left hand comes forward. Maybe it sweeps around into the half bind, or arriving in the lower back, or maybe it reaches around to the hip crease. Deep breath, feeling into the rib cage, the shoulders. You're ready, left hand comes back in front of the chest and the right arm sweeps forward out in front. Exhale, left leg lifts, find stability, hug the ribs. On the out breath, squeeze. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, squeeze. Again, on your breath, one more deep breath. Inhale, nice and long. Bring the right hand down to the floor. Kick stand the right foot. Left leg stays lifted as we open out to the left side. And when you're ready, maybe take a bend in that top leg. Reach around with the left hand, taking hold of the foot. Coming into the back bend, pushing the heart forward. And for releasing the foot, bring the left hand and left foot back down to the mat. Drop the left knee and then straighten the right leg. Staying on the ball of the toes and shifting the weight forward and back. When you're ready, dropping both knees. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Shift the heels over to the right, stretching the left side. Switch the heels over to the left, stretching the right side. Coming back to center. As you're ready, coming high into the tiptoes, roll all the way forward into plank. 
Drop the knees, chest and chin on the out breath. Inhale, slide forward and through into Cobra. Untuck the toes. Keep a bend in the elbows here. Shift it back into Child's Pose. Deep breath. Shift the weight forward. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. When you're ready, come high in the toes. We're going to walk our way to the top of the mat, coming into Ardha Uttanasana, your half lift. Lengthen the heart forwards. Exhale, fold over the legs, soft knees. Inhale as we roll up through the spine. Exhale, take a shrug of the shoulders, arms by your sides. Inhale, taking the arms up. Exhale as we fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale as we fold. Step the left leg back, step the right leg back into plank. Holding here for a couple of breaths. So you lift the hips, shift them up and back, downward facing dog. When you're ready on your inhale, rolling forward into plank, dropping the knees on the out breath, back to our cat cow. Inhale as we lift the heart, exhale as we tuck the chin. Again, your choice whether you keep your knees down to the floor or whether on your exhale you might like to hover your knees off the mat. And see what feels comfortable for your belly, your core work today, how you feel this morning. And when you're ready, we're coming to a neutral spine. And again, same as we did before, inhale, left arm up. Exhale, thread all the way through, straight into thread the needle this time. Shoulder to the floor, ear to the mat. Again, maybe the right arm comes forward or around into the half bind. Maybe you close the eyes again. Feeling into the breath. I love to explore the breath and the body in these shapes. And you find where it finds an edge or meets some resistance. When you're ready, bring the right hand down. On the inhale, sweep the left arm forward. Exhale, right leg back. And then again, squeeze and tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze and tap. On your breath. And before next time you get nice and long, bring the right hand down to the floor, left hand down to the floor, left leg kickstands, right arm goes up as we open out to the right side, reach around, take hold of the top of the foot, maybe, maybe not, that's okay, wobbling's good, <laughs> again beaming the heart forwards, finding our back bend, and then this time when you're ready we're going to let go of the leg, we're going to sweep it all the way around to the top of the mat, as we come into Ardha Hanuman, our half split. This is wearing off the hips, coming over the front leg, but really focusing on pushing the ball of the big toe forward. There's lots of variations of this shape. Sometimes people take their sits bones back. Just be comfortable through your body. When you're ready, inhale, come forward onto the front foot, Anjaneyasana. As you exhale, take your twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale as we take our twist to the left. Right arm to the inside, right, yeah, right arm to the inside of the right leg. Left hand maybe catches the back foot as it draws the heel towards the sits bone. Release the foot when you're ready. Inhale, Anjaneyasana. Hands frame the front foot. Stepping back to plank. And your breath, your flow. Maybe exhale, Chaturanga. Maybe to the floor for Cobra. You might be practicing upward facing dog. See if you can hold your back bend for an extra breath. Or we'll meet in downward facing dog when you're ready. You might like to transition through a child's pose like I am. We'll find Adamukha Savasana, downward facing dog when you're ready. Or we won't, we'll come back to all fours. <laughs> And we'll practice our cat cow again. Inhaling as we lift through the heart. Exhale, chin to chest, tuck the tailbone. <laughs> on your breath. Again, you can hover your knees on your exhale if you like. Hold maybe for an extra breath. 
and then drop the knees, find the neutral spine, inhale, right arm to the ceiling, straight through into threading the needle on the exhale, shoulder to the floor, ear to the mat, left arm comes forward if you want to, maybe up towards the ceiling or into the half bind. Closing the eyes, exploring the breath, smooth and steady. When you're ready, bring your left hand back down to the mat in front of the face. Inhale, right arm sweeps forward. Exhale, left leg goes back. And the next out breath, squeeze and tap. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, squeeze. Two more. Deep breath. And pull the next time you get nice and long. We're going to bring the right hand down to the floor. Kickstand the right foot. Keep the left arm to the ceiling, opening to the left side. And then again, maybe take a bend in the left knee, catch hold of the top of the foot, take the back bend. Opening through the chest, opening the fronts of the hips. When you're ready, releasing the foot, coming all the way around to the top of the mat into Ardha Hanuman, our half splits again. Steady the breath. Just exploring the sensation down the back of the left leg. You can be up on blocks if you like under your hands. Have a deep bend in your front knee if you want to. Whatever experience or sensation you might be feeling, make sure that it's comfortable for you. Remember, we're being the witness as we notice and observe ourselves. Shift the weight forward, inhaling Anjaneyasana. Exhale as we take the twist to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, take the twist to the right. Left arm to the inside of the left leg. Right hand maybe catches the top of the right foot. So you bring the heel towards the sits bone, maybe to the outer edge of the thigh, maybe not, maybe it's nowhere near. That's totally fine. Release the foot when you're ready. Inhale, Anjaneyasana again. Exhale as we frame the front foot, stepping back into plank. And again, on your breath. Exhale, downward facing dog, lifting our hips up nice and high. Bring high into the toes, take the heels over to the right side, maybe a little bend in the knees, over to the left. Coming back to center. Walking to the top of the mat when you're ready, coming into Ardha Uttanasana again, our half lift, lengthening the heart forwards. Exhale as we fold. Maybe tuck the chin. Inhale as we roll up through the spine. Arms stay by our sides. Exhale as we roll the shoulders. Inhale, arms up. Exhale as we fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale as we fold. Step the right leg back. Step the left leg back to plank. Take a breath. Again, your breath, your flow. So you might like to lower to the floor for a cobra you might lift into upward facing dog again maybe stay in your back bend for a breath this time we will meet in downward facing dog taking a nice long deep inhale a smooth gentle exhale using the lower belly as we inhale take the right leg up towards the ceiling point out through the toe keep this hips squared then come high into the ball of the left toe Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog, take it up and back. Exhale, cross it over, tap the inner left elbow. Heart moves forward. Inhale, up and back. Exhale as we draw the knee in towards the chest. Stay in downward facing dog though. See if you can draw your knee a little closer to your nose and then step the foot forward between the hands as we shift the shoulders forward. Drop the back heel towards the center of the mat coming into side angle pose. Maybe your right hand is on the inside of your right foot. Maybe it's on a block. Maybe your elbow is on your thigh to give you a little bit more space and spaciousness around your hips. You might like to sweep your left arm across the belly as we come, bring it over the ear and reaching forwards. I'd like you to tuck your tailbone a little bit, really use your lower belly, push through your front foot to rise to warrior two. 
and then exhale, we're going to flip the front hand, and we're going to reverse our warrior. Staying for a breath. Inhale back to warrior two, arms reach forward and back. And then exhale as we come into side angle pose again. Elbow might be on the thigh, hand can be on the floor or on a block. It's your shapes, find what feels comfortable. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale as we reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale back to side angle. Again, find whichever variation is comfortable for you today. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale to reverse, feeling the breath. So we're going to windmill our hands all the way down, frame the front foot, taking your right arm up towards the ceiling into a twist. Maybe take Cleopatra if you prefer, rolling to the outer blades of the feet. And we're going to sweep it all the way around to the long edge on the left side of the mat. We come into Prasarita Padottanasana, our wide-legged forward fold, taking breath. And then shift our hands to the back of the mat towards the left foot. Take a bend in the left knee. Shift it over to the right side. Again, back to the left. And then all the way to the top of the mat as we walk through the feet. Straighten the legs. Sweep our right leg up and back for a three-legged dog. And then exhale as we place the left foot back down. A deep breath in. Gentle breath out. Inhale as we roll forward to plank. Exhale as we lower, chaturanga maybe. Inhale, upward facing dog if it's comfortable for you. Maybe cobra again. Or shift our weight back into downward facing dog as you're ready. Deep breath. Lower belly engaged. Inhale, left leg to the ceiling. Coming high into the ball of the right big toe, draw the left knee, left tricep. Inhale up and back. Exhale, cross it over, inner right elbow. Inhale up and back. Again, so drawing the left knee in towards the chest, stay in downward facing dog for a breath, then shift the shoulders forward, place the foot between the hands. Dropping the right heel to the center of the mat, left hand maybe to the inside of the left foot, right arm to the ceiling onto your block or maybe your left arm onto your left thigh. Right arm might sweep across the front of the body as we come into bringing the arm over the ear, reaching the long side of the right side of the body. All the way from the little toe right up to the fingertips. And then again, push through the foot to rise to warrior two. Flip the front hand, reverse. Then moving through these shapes. So when you're ready, come back to your warrior two. Into side angle, whatever variation you're comfortable with this morning. Depends on what time of day you're practicing. But as I say, this is an early morning class um, invitation. Reverse. You might stay in each of these shapes for a breath. You might keep exploring, observing the breath and the body. How does it feel as you move and shift the energy from your feet to your hands? When you're ready, we're going to windmill the hands all the way forward and take our left arm up towards the ceiling as we come into our twist. Maybe taking it to Cleopatra as we roll to the outer blades of the feet. Steady breath. And when you're ready, sweep it all the way around to the long edge of the mat on the right side. Taking our Prasarita Padottanasana, our wide-legged forward fold. Smooth, steady breaths. Explore shifting the weight in the feet, maybe slightly forward into the toes. And when you're ready, take a deep bend in your right knee into your left knee, just walking the hands to the back of the mat. And walking the hands all the way to the top of the mat as we pivot through the feet, again straightening both legs <laughs> and taking our left leg up and back, three-legged dog. 
And then when you're ready, placing the foot down to the mat. Long breath. Inhale high in the toes, rolling forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga to the floor for cobra if you prefer. Inhale, upward facing dog. Try not to shift too quickly through your flow. See if you can feel each of the shapes, take an extra breath maybe if you want to. Meeting in downward facing dog when you're comfortable. Walking to the top of the mat, coming into Ardha Uttanasana again, lengthening the heart forwards. Try to keep shifting the weight into the balls of the feet, not hanging out in the heels. Soft bend in the knees as we fold forward. Maybe again, tuck the chin. When we're ready, the inhale rolls us up through the spine. Exhale, take a shrug of the shoulders. Inhale as we sweep the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale as we fold forward and down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as we fold, step or jump back on your breath, your flow. Meeting in Adha Mukha Savasana, downward facing dog when you're ready. Inhale, right leg to the ceiling, high on the ball of the left big toe. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, up and back. Again, cross it over on the out breath. Inhaling, up and back. Exhale, hug the right knee and stay in downward facing dog, maybe knee to nose. Shift the weight forwards, then place the foot. Side angle pose as we drop the left heel to the center of the mat, right hand on the inside of the right foot or on a block or on your elbow, wherever you like. Again, warrior two on an inhale, exhale to reverse. So finding your flow, your rhythm, your movement in these shapes. You might continue to use your hands, you might not. You might do like this seaweed, flowy feeling like I'm doing with my arms and really trying to use the core through the lower belly. And then when you're ready, we're gonna come into Adha Chandrasana. So we're gonna bring our right hand to the top right hand corner of our mat. Maybe step the left foot in a little as we lift up through the back left leg. Maybe your left arm is to the ceiling as well. Little toe of the left foot is pressing towards the roof. Some of you might like to take your right hand off the floor, bring it to your heart. Steady breath. We're coming back to warrior two. And we're going to windmill our hands down as we come into that twisted lunge with your right arm to the ceiling. Maybe Cleopatra again as you roll to the outer blades of the feet. Really opening out through that front knee. Maybe even place your right hand on your right knee. It's never on the knee, sorry. It's just above the knee on the thigh. Don't push into your joints. <laughs> Prasarita Padottanasana. Forward fold on the left side. Walk the hands to the back of the mat if you like. Or take Skandasana into the left side. Maybe opening out into your arms. When you're ready, shift it to the top of the mat. Whether you've got the walking the hands or whether you're taking Skandasana. Just feeling into your own practice. Shifting back to the top of the mat as we straighten through the legs, sweeping the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Moving maybe through a three-legged flow or bring the right foot down to plank and then shift through your practice. Skip this all together if you want to. Stay in downward facing dog. A deep breath. Lower belly engaged. High on the toes, bend the knees, step walk or jump to the top of the mat, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, rolling up through the spine. Exhale, shrug the shoulders. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, we fold. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump. In your breath, your flow. Meeting in Adha Mukha Shavasana again when you're ready. Downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg to the ceiling. High on the ball, the right big toe. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhaling, up and back. Cross it over on your out breath. Inhale, up and back. 
Again, hug that left knee into the chest. Stay in downward facing dog. Maybe knee towards the nose. Shift the shoulders forward. Place the foot to the inside of the left hand. Drop the right heel to the center of the mat. Side angle pose. Any variation you like, you know where we're going. Again, maybe the seaweed action of the arms floating. Maybe you prefer to take half binds or full binds. We are going to have one more round of this on either side, so you might come into it then. I'm just taking the time to move through your shapes. And when you're ready, we're going to come into our half moon. So we're going to bring our left hand. Well done, Jen. <laughs> left hand to the top left hand corner of the mat. Right leg lifts, right arm lifts. Long, deep breath. Again, remember you can keep your right hand onto your hip if you like. You keep your left hand to the floor if you want to for more stability. Strong through that top lifted leg and your little toe is pushing to the ceiling. Deep breath. Into warrior two when you're ready. Now we're gonna windmill our arms to the floor. Left arm to the ceiling into our twist. Maybe Cleopatra as we roll to the outer blades of the feet. Again, maybe that left hand onto your left thigh just above your knee as you open the heart a little, opening the hip a little, but stay with sensation, what feels good. Into Prasarita Padottanasana for a breath as we fold forward wide legs to the right side of the mat. Walk our hands to the back of the mat, take a bend in the knee, maybe Skandasana. Maybe opening out through the arms again, if that's comfortable for you. Steady breath to the top of the mat. <laughs> Long deep breath. If you are doing this early in the morning and this is not comfortable for your hips, just stay with the first variation. Straighten the legs at the top of the mat when you're there. Three-legged dog with the left leg lifted. Maybe a three-legged flow, maybe not. Meeting in downward facing dog as you're ready, taking a deep breath. We're going to come down into child's pose, take a little rest and absorb the efforts of the practice. If you've been practicing with me for a little while, whether it's um, online or in the studio, you know that child's pose is not a favorite resting shape of mine. So I'll come into an upright seat, close my eyes, gather my hands in my lap, and observe myself from this shape. If you'd prefer to stay in child's pose, please stay there. We'll be here for a few breaths. Maybe taking a moment just to notice the breath and the body. Where is the mindset at today? Are you practicing this while we're still in isolation? Has isolation now finished? How does it feel for you to be wherever you're at today? And if you're not in child's pose, I invite you to make your way there now. And when you're ready, we'll meet ourselves in downward facing dog. Inhaling high into our tiptoes, walk, step or jump your way to the top of the mat, Adha Uttanasana. Exhaling as we fold, tuck the chin. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, shrug the shoulders. Inhale, arms to the ceiling. Exhale as we fold. Inhale, half lift. Plant the hands, step or jump back on your breath, your flow. So moving through the same sequence, slightly different this time. Inhale, right leg to the ceiling. Maybe bend the knee, open the hip for a breath. Exhale, knee to tricep. Inhale, up and back. Cross it over. Maybe fall in triangle with the foot to the floor. Left arm to the ceiling. Maybe like me, having right leg lifted. Exhale, knee to the chest as we did before. Shift the shoulders forward, then place the foot down. Side angle pose. Left heel to the center of the mat. I'm going to take a full bind this time. You take whatever is comfortable for your body, whether the elbows on the thigh. Again, come into your reverse when you're ready. Into Adha Chandrasana, half moon pose, shift the weight forward. Left leg is lifted, maybe taking Chakrasana, taking hold of that back foot. Long, deep breath. 
When you're ready, let go of the foot back into our warrior two. <laughs> Windmill the hands into our twisted lunge. Maybe Cleopatra. Sweep it all the way around. Prasarita Padottanasana, wide-legged forward fold. Into Skandasana at the back of the mat or just a bend in that left knee like we did in the first round. Stay at wherever you feel comfortable. Long, deep breath. And back to the top of the mat when you're ready. Both legs straight. Inhale, right leg to the ceiling. Three-legged dog, your choice. Three-legged flow or place the foot down for plank. Maybe skip it all together. Cat cow, if you want, is always there. When you're ready, inhaling left leg to the ceiling. Exhale, left knee to tricep. I know. Inhale, three-legged dog, cross it over, fallen triangle. Maybe the foot is to the floor, maybe it's lifted. Steady breath. Sweep it up and back, three-legged dog. Knee to the chest, stay in downward facing dog, hug it in, then shift the weight forward. Place the foot down, side angle pose. Left hand to the inside of the left foot if you like. Again, I'm gonna do the full bind. You can take a half bind. You might choose to work with your elbow on your thigh. When you're ready, we're gonna flip and reverse all the way back. Nice, Adha Chandrasana, a half moon pose. <laughs> left hand to the top left hand corner of the mat. Right leg lifts, maybe the right arm is up. Maybe we take Chakrasana again as we grab hold of that back foot. Steady breath. Releasing the foot when you're ready, back into warrior two. Oh, I'm so wobbly on my left leg. <laughs> Windmill the hands into our twisted lunge, left arm to the ceiling. Cleopatra, if you like, rolling to the outer blades of the feet. Sweep it around to the right side of the mat, Prasarita, wide-legged forward fold. Take Skandasana or just a deep bend into the right knee if you want to. Shift the weight to the top of the mat, maybe Skandasana, maybe just taking a bend into the left knee. Come all the way to the top of the mat, straighten both legs, sweep the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Optional three-legged flow again, maybe plank, maybe nothing, maybe cat-cow. When you're ready, we're going to meet in child's pose, taking a long breath. Slowly rolling up into an upright seat. And taking a moment again to feel the heat, feel the breath, gather the hands in a lap. I'm going to invite you to come up onto high kneeling, so coming up onto your knees. So I'm going to invite you to um, work into half or strasana with one hand back. If that's not comfortable for you, please bring your hands to your lower back and just keep pushing your hips forward. We've done a bit of compression through the fronts of the hip joints, so we're just going to try and um, move that out a little bit. If you're working with me into half or strasana, you might like to tuck your toes under as well, so your heels are a little closer to grab onto. When you're ready, we're going to take our right hand back to our right heel. We're going to sweep our left arm up and around, reaching towards the back of the room, pushing the hips forward. Then sweep the left arm across the body, coming over to the other side. So I'm going to invite you just to move from side to side, feeling into the fronts of the hips, opening the heart. Remember, if you no pain in your lower back, I'm going to make circles here if you don't want to, please don't feel that you have to. Long deep breath as we come back to a neutral spine. Drop the sits bones down to the heels. We're going to swing the legs all the way around out in front so we find a seated position. So remembering with your seated practice when your hips are on the floor, if you feel as though you sit heavy in the backs of your hips, if you have a posterior tilt, so your pelvis is dropping backwards, then please elevate your hips or bend your knees. Do whatever you like so that you can feel as though your pelvis is rolling forward. This is going to help us to stretch the back body. And that might just be through the soles of your feet, 
through the backs of your legs in this shape today. I'm going to cradle and nurse my face so that I can try and keep my spine slightly longer just as I feel the fabric of my body start to slowly tease itself open. And as I start to find like I've got a little bit more space, I'm going to release, let the chest come a little closer in towards the thighs, keeping the legs nice and active, big toes pushing forward. Steady breath. On the inhale, rolling back up. Wonderful. So we're going to take a bend into our right knee. So if you have sacroiliac issues or anything to do with your lower back, then please have your heel to the outer edge of your hip and maybe sit on your block so that you can keep your pelvis neutral. Um, if you'd like to come with me, we're going to take Janoshirasasana where we take the knee out to the side. The sole of the foot to the inner left thigh so that we keep the pelvis neutral-ish. Um, if you're comfortable to practice half Padmasana where we bring the foot into the half bind, then you're welcome to do that. If you've not done it before, please don't worry about it today. When you're ready, inhale, lengthen the spine. As we exhale, folding out over the straight leg. Vajana Shirasasana is our head to knee pose. Shifting our face in towards the direction of our knee. Trying to keep the body nice and long. There is action if your knee is in external rotation, turning out to the side. There is action through the outer edge of your hip and your foot to keep it safe. When you're ready on your inhale, coming up, then we're going to slide the right foot to the outer edge of the left thigh. Coming into an open belly twist today. So left, le left arm comes behind you, right hand to the inside or the right elbow to the inside of the right knee. Maybe you feel comfortable to take your left hand off the floor, slide it around to the back of your waist or around to your thigh and take your twist. Deep breath. So inhale, come back to neutral. And we'll come to the other side. So again, if you have sacroiliac issues or your pelvis, please have the foot to the outer edge of your hip. Elevate your hips. And if you're practicing head to knee pose, Maybe take the sole of your left foot to the inner right thigh. Or maybe you practice half Padmasan, come into a slight bind with the leg. The knee is active. Lengthen the spine to begin with, fold forward on the out breath. Smooth and steady. So if it's an early morning practice for you, just to let the body slowly start to let go of that sleepy tightness. Try not to force it, just maybe expanding the breath into the areas that feel sticky. When you're in your in ready on your inhale, coming back up and taking the left foot to the outer edge of the right knee, open belly twist again. So the right hand comes behind, left elbow to the inside of the left knee. Inhale as we lift up through the heart. Take the twist as we turn the heart open, lifting the heart towards the ceiling. Maybe that right hand comes off the floor, wraps around behind you. Making sure the ball of the big left toe keeps pressing down and the knee is pushing into the elbow. And the elbow is pushing back into the knee, which helps turn the chest. Keeping the heart lifted and open. And when you're ready, coming back through center. Long, deep breath. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was. We're going to bring our hands behind us with our fingers pointing forwards. Feet are hips distance apart. So hands are nice and wide. We're going to come up into a reverse table. If you're quite comfortable to practice this with straight legs, please feel free to come into straight leg variation. First, we're going to start to tuck the tailbone, hover the sits bones just off the floor so that lower belly is strong and active. Then push through the hands and the feet to rise up. Glutes are engaged, hips are pushing forwards. 
You might like to release the head back. Make sure that you move your chin forwards before you let it go back down. If you release your head back and your hips drop, then maybe keep your chin towards your chest and keep focusing on that engagement of your really deep lower belly abdominal muscles and your glutes and your legs pushing to lift. Wonderful. Two more deep breaths. When you're ready, lowering, lowering the pelvis back down to the floor, come onto the tips of the toes, wrap the arms around the shins and drop the chin into the chest. Take a deep breath. Coming into Navasana, into boat pose, so you might keep the tips of your toes to the floor, you might bring your shins parallel or you might straighten your legs. Arms reach forwards. Very slowly on our exhale, lowering down into canoe or low boat. And then inhale, gently starting to lift back up into Navasana. Take your time, exhale, and lower back down into our canoe or our low boat. Long breaths. Inhale, lifts us back up. Again, when you're ready, on your exhale, going back down. On an inhale, lifting back up into Navasana, maybe straight legs. Oh, legs are starting to shake now. Wobble, wobble. <laughs> Beautiful. You're lower into low boat. Here I'm going to ask you to take four deep breaths in and out through the nose, really using the lower belly. <laughs> then release all the way to the floor, stretch it out long. Take a little mini shavasana break, maybe arms by your sides, let the body rest, observation, just noticing. If and when you're ready, you might like to take a bend in your knees, place your feet to the earth. And open up into our hips again, into our bridge pose, maybe full over Danyarasana wheel pose if you'd like to go up and you feel comfortable. It's part of your regular practice, you're welcome. And as with bridge pose, arms down by our sides, feet are hips distance apart, knees stacked over the ankles, lift through the heart, really squeeze the scapula together on your inhale. Then as you breathe out, push through the feet and the hands and lift the hips. You might like to scoot your shoulder blades under just a little more as you interlace the hands, pushing through the legs, lifting the hips. Deep breath. You're very welcome to stay here if you want to push to Avidanyarasana, upward facing bow from here, place the hands next to the ears, push through the hands and the feet, maybe coming high into the toes, exhale as we lower down, all the way to the mat, deep breath. Inviting you to cactus the arms, take the feet as wide as the mat as we drop the knees over to the right side. You can place your right ankle on your left thigh if you want to, not overly necessary, but if you feel that that's going to assist your body by all means. You're stretching along the left side, but we are starting to slow it down, starting to cool the body. Shifting the mindset into a more yin state. When you're ready, inhale through center, drop the knees over to the left. Feeling the breath along the right side of the body. When you're ready, coming back to center. Drawing the knees in for happy baby pose. So you can choose to keep hugging your knees towards your um, shoulders. So try not to bring it too close in towards your chest, but rather more knees towards the shoulders so that we're not pinching or creating pain in the fronts of the hips. There is a compression, but there's no pain. If you'd like full happy baby pose and under balasana, then maybe hold on to your feet, stack your feet over your knees. Maybe a little rock from side to side as you massage your back into the floor a little bit, creating a bit more space and creating uh, and encouraging a little bit of blood to flow along the spine and massaging those muscles. 
very welcome to stay here or maybe start to take a wide-legged happy baby pose so similar pretty much the same as what we're doing when we're standing in our prasarita padottanasana our wide-legged forward fold but here we have the assistance of the earth to resist and rebound against try to keep the lower back long legs long when you're ready release I invite you to make your way into Shavasana. So if you do feel like there's anything else that your body needs or requires, please, of course, always feel free to take a little bit more time. Shavasana is such a crucial and important part of our physical practice. And it's this opportunity to find stillness, to let all of the different functions of the body start to com communicate with more clarity. So that the digestive system works better, that the endocrine system, our hormones, uh, function with a little more ease. So I invite you to find stillness here. Be comfortable, be warm. If you find that your mind is distracting, I strongly encourage you to focus on the rise and fall of your belly. To find the rhythm of your breath without being focused on whether you're breathing in or out. But the actual movement that the breath causes in the body. And then let everything else fall away. The holding on, the thoughts, the expectations, the hopes, the dreams. Pass it all over for a moment. You don't need to do anything now. It's a time for you to rest. To trust that you are held in safe and sacred space. to gently start to deepen your breath. You might choose to roll your chin over to your shoulder. And then gently and slowly rolling it over to the other side. You might just roll from side to side a couple of times, nice and slow, as we observe the feeling and the movement. Maybe 
starting to bring movement into your hands and your toes. You might like to bring your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. here for as long as you like stay resting stay lying down if that's what you'd like to do and if you feel comfortable your own time you might like to slowly take a bend in your knees and bring your feet to the floor Slowly roll over to one side. <coughs> Pressing into an upright seat when it might feel comfortable for you. sit cross-legged, maybe you're on your shins, you elevate your hips onto a prop. And today I'm going to invite you to finish off your practice with three rounds of Brahmari breath, our humming bee. You, we breathe in through the nose, we hum on the exhale, maybe bringing the tip of your tongue to the hard roof palate of your mouth, the top of your mouth. Ready, moving on your own breath. I invite you to take a nice long deep breath in. your practice I hope you have a beautiful day whatever is coming for you we invite you to step through your day today with an open heart a sense of gratitude and love for the abundance that we have thank you so much enjoy